Hi, welcome to this month's two minute tip. We will be talking about how to create a new geospatial portal for those customers using Apollo who may need a second portal for whatever reason. It could be that you have um, a new project you need a new portal for or you have accidentally deleted your portal or who knows. Um, so to do this you need to go to the index page and then go to the administration console and from here you pick up instance list and in instance list click on new instance so we will create a new portal from here give it a name so Apollo portal 2 is the one that I'm going for and then leave everything else as default and press create then press configure and you need to make sure that you have the Apollo um, template set up. So to do this, go to Starting Configuration on the top. And then from the drop down, select your default template to be the Apollo Pro.aspx. And press Apply. If you have Apollo Advantage, then select Apollo, not Apollo Pro. And then from here, you want to press run portal so you can make sure that your new portal has this new template. Okay, so now if I go to the data sources and show data sources, you can see there's no Apollo connection in here. To add your Apollo connection, click on the new data sources button and find uh, that's Apollo on the left hand side. And then in the URL box, type in HTTP and then localhost. Don't put in your username and password with a key, just press register. And you can see on the right hand side it says that it's initialized map service. And then go to tools, press the floppy disk button which is for user maps. Under workspaces press add and then from map and give it a name, Apollo Portal. And then next to that, there's a drop down, click public and select a link. If you then copy that link into a new tab and paste it in and then run it, we can just make sure that that has been successful and your Apollo service is connected up to this portal. So you click on data sources and it's there. It runs, that's good. So now we're going to go back to the previous tab, copy the ID and go back to admin console and just add it in under starting configuration as the starting workspace ID and press apply and then run portal and hopefully when this runs by default it should load in the Apollo catalog it won't be logged in you don't really want to that so you can see there now it's available if I log in it should work Press login and I am in. Brilliant. Okay, so this is method one. There is now another method that we can use which is a little newer than this method. So to do this, you need to go back to the admin console and then we're going to create a new portal first of all, so new instance. And call this whatever you want, so Apollo Portal 3. And then press create. And then you want to configure it so you have a starting workspace, a starting layout, sorry, of Apollo Pro.aspx again. So if you go to starting configuration, change that to Apollo or Apollo Pro, and press apply. And now you want to go to the left hand side, wraps and workspaces button. You can run that portal as well if you want to make sure the template has, um, the layout has been set. Home Maps and Workspaces, on the top right hand side there is a pop-up blocker, just enable that and it should run localhost forward slash admin console forward slash admin portal. This is a whole new portal. So you go to the data, define a data source button and add in Erdas Apollo, so the HTTP and then localhost and press register. Now has added that connection in. Now go to user maps on the left hand side, add from map and call it whatever you want, so Apollo portal empty I think I went for. And now we are going to make that available, so click set for instance on starting workspace and tag it to your new portal and then press set. 
and then all that's left is to go and test that new portal so if you go back to the admin console instance list and then select Apollo portal 3 or whichever whatever you named it and run it it should now have the Apollo catalog hooked into it so if I then go to define data sources you can see it's at the top and authentication plonk in your username and password press login and you should be into your Apollo catalog